Groundbreaking research to create an entirely new type of COVID vaccine happening right here in San Antonio. And the lead doctor is looking for locals to get involved. Our Courtney Friedman explains how this type of vaccine could actually mean fewer or even no booster shots in the future. Current COVID vaccines have been extremely successful in preventing severe illness, but as we know, multiple boosters are part of the deal. But a research team right here in San Antonio might be helping change that. This study, I think, could be really be a breakthrough, a big breakthrough. Dr. Sherwin Schwartz's team at Endeavor in San Antonio is one of only 10 locations hosting clinical trials of a brand new type of COVID vaccine. We know the virus is like a ball with spikes on it. Current vaccines target the spikes. This is going to be a mechanism of action going after the ball, and the ball doesn't mutate as much. If this vaccine is going to work and not be affected by mutations, my gosh, we won't have to take one every year. Maybe every two or three years, I pray, once, one and done. The research is new, and Schwartz says South Texans have a front row seat. Phase one of the clinical trial starts in just two weeks, so he's looking for volunteers right now. You must be 18 to 55 years old, have had three mRNA vaccine shots, which is Pfizer or Moderna, and you must be healthy with no underlying conditions. We, we want to be sure that you don't have an underlying illness that's going to act like a side effect of, of the vaccine. So if you participate, you'll come here to the office, get that one shot, and then you'll hang out here in this room for a few hours so they can monitor any side effects. So if the study is successful in phase one, we do phase two, three, the people of San Antonio will get first shot at this. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. All right, so if you want to volunteer, the number is right there on your screen. It's 210-880-9440. You can also sign up online at EndeavorCT.com. By the way, people are going to be compensated for both their time and transportation. We also have that information on KSAT.com.